Hello humans and pets, uh, we are at Dairy Queen, and what are we eating today? All kinds of stuff. So? A Mugambo ginormous peppermint, what is it called? Peppermint? Uh, we got a candy cane chill blizzard, we yep. got a Heath blizzard, because I've never had a Heath bar. Right, this, so. one's, this one's one of the new ones that came back for winter time, we've been waiting for them to come out, uh, with, they've been coming, they've been out. We also got two burgers. Right. Uh, the triple loaded A1 Steakhouse burger. That's the one supposed to be a new one. And the flamethrower grill burger. That one that we just never had. Flamethrower sauce. It, it sounded good. So and we said, let's get one of them while we're here. So we're this gonna start out with with the we're gonna start out with the ice cream because oh well, this one's gonna be tough. You're gonna have to hold. Put that down. Oh no. Go down. Oh no. I don't know. Put it down. Put it down. Come on, you can do it. Like this. Yeah. Put it down in the cup holder. So you can hold on to the thing well, so I can I'm pour doing. some of this. Hey, someone was supposed to grab a cup. We didn't get We're going to put cup. it in that one? Sure. Yeah, you can have this. Yeah, you take this. Well, you take the cup. I'll take that. Because I, I want this one I said. I was trying to put it in mine. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to take this, this spoon. you got to make it complicated. We're going to eat it. Um, right, maybe I'm we should pour it in advance from now on. That's a good idea. No, we should just do it like you say. Let's I'm going to try. I, this is Heath, but I'm going to try it because I have to get the spoon. It's only because we're trying two different flavors. We don't have this problem. We just got to eat it. Mm -hmm. I hope you had napkins. It's all over my face. <laughs> no problems. That one's good. All right, we're gonna try the peppermint right now. Now, being it's winter, everything's peppermint with the Christmas going on. This is specifically candy cane peppermint. Yeah. So on the picture, it had like chunks of chocolate. So they don't usually disappoint in, in this one, but. And it does have them. Um, what do you think? Candy cane. Oh yeah. You know, I figured coming here because now we've had we've had the peppermint. Oh, we only went to one of the other ones. A lot of people had them. We only went to one so far because he keeps telling me no. Which one was it? Chick Fil A. I believe. And that one was good. I think I like this one better. Because A, it's an ice cream, but B, I like the little chocolate pieces that are in there. Mm -hmm. It adds a, another flavor. Yeah. This is actually pretty good. I'm, I I gotta say. It is pretty good. I like it. Oh, you turn the light on. <laughs> I was going to say it gets dark so early now. By the time we get out to this place, I said it's going to be dark by the time we did the uh, you video. You see the light and my sunglasses. But it's actually it's actually showing up okay. At least it looks okay. Mm -hmm. on the That's good. All right. We got so much to eat today. We do. We got to put this down. I saw I had the Heath one. No, I know. So you're going to grab that cup. I meant to put it in before I already used my spoon, oh. but too late now. Please do not move it this time. I'm going to. Drop it. That's good. I don't need that much. I have a whole cup of Heath bun now. Oh. Now. Time to eat. He's never had a Heath bar. So I was like, well, get one then. This is almost like a... Looks almost like a twist on the inside. A vanilla and a chocolate. Mm-hmm. When you get a big chunk, that's 100% heat bar. I actually like them. I, I couldn't describe it. It's almost like a toffee. Uh, uh, Tastes like a cookie almost. But like a very weird one. Do you like it? People buy this? Like as a candy bar? Yeah. Well, a lot of times they come, they're little, they come in a candy bar too, but a lot of like, in, like on in like Halloween and stuff, they have the small ones. It's not bad. I I think they're different. 
you know what I mean? Like it's a different. Mm -hmm. I will say, I don't know if you can hear how much I'm crunching, but that's one thing I like about this place. Yeah. Is they don't short you on the amount of stuff that goes inside of it. Mm-hmm. This one's good, but not my thing. The Heath bar. All right, so we're gonna move on. We'll move on. This is gonna be a tricky there. pot. Ryan wanted to try to do the whole thing here. Yes. Now, I don't know when they came out with a flamethrower. Napkins. Now, inside of the glove Which one do you want to try first? You got the knife. Which one do you want to try first? Um, Whichever one I grab? Whatever one you grab. That flamethrower. You want to try that uh, second because yeah, it might I'll be try second. We have a knife in the glove box um, for cutting the food today. Yeah, so this might this might be dangerous. We'll have to see how this yeah, works. Yeah, we also out. brought a uh, small yeah. cutting board. All right. Um, so that's exciting. Right? It's not every day you have a cutting board and a knife. Yeah, probably highly illegal driving around with a big 10 inch chef knife in this car, but that's all right. First glance, I just want to show you a wrapper. Can you, can you pull the wrapper down, Ryan, instead of playing with the knife today? Hello? Pull the face down so they can see how much cheese and, and stuff is on here. This is, I got to say, this is their new burger. This is a good looking, this is a good looking burger right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, put that on your lap because you're gonna need something to eat on. Lap. Give me this. Knife. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make a messy. Let me take my coat off before it, you know, it makes it messy. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna give you a cross view of Ryan's while I'm bringing it over here. Bacon. But I gotta be honest, that that whatever's on the top, it's like a big. I don't even know what's on the top of this. It's like a big bacon. I, is did they have thing? Did you oh, read wait. what was on it? Yeah. No. Hold on to it. Grab it because it's gonna sink through. It looks like it's onions. It looks like an. It felt like an onion ring when I was cutting, it, but it it's looks hard. Like onion ring. Like like there was. I got the stick of mozzarella stick on here. There was something in there. Uh, right. TGI Fridays did that. The Moz Melter. Let's try this. Um, I mean, this is actually the patty looks it was on top, cheesy not and moist. Uh, the, the, the onion rings or whatever's on the top are, are actually were tough to cut through. Like they, they had some substance. And I'm it. assuming there's a one steak house sauce. Th that's the one we got. So it's supposed to have a one steak sauce on so it. So that's exciting. All right, we'll try it. It's like a ketchup, but better. I don't know if you've even had a one steak sauce. We don't use it. No, not that often. They have it on the table at Red Robin, I think, or they used to. The guy, the guy in the house behind us let his dogs out, so... Finn, stop. Oh, no. Stop. He wants to go make sense. It's on my face. I can say the drive through is full. These. Onion ring. Ow. They, they they didn't sog out. They they still mm -hmm. got a crunch to them. A lot of crunch to them. That's part of the reason why we did it here. Mm -hmm. We didn't want it to melt or soggy. The uh, the A one steak sauce oh, has a. Uh, do we we need my the light thing on here? There we go. The A one steak sauce is almost sweet. It almost has like a sweet flavor to it. I don't remember it being yeah, that sweet. I don't it being sweet. Right, sweeter than I normally remember A1 steak sauce being. That's my personal. I remember it being like a kapow. What do you think? The triple patty is, to me, honestly, it, it's actually cooked very well. Yeah. It's very juicy. It's moist. My complaint this, is the sides of the patty, but... You know what though? It for it's still pretty. I think good. it was eight dollars and twenty five cents for the triple. Uh, compare it, compare it to all the other ones that are around eight dollars when you get them that don't have any meat. This has a decent amount of meat. It reminds me of the one we got, the big bacon at Wendy's. That's what it's. Remember we got a triple one at Wendy's. The baconator. No. We've never got a Baconator. You say this every time. It was like the Big Bacon, it was called, or something like that. It was the new one that just came out, the last one we Babe? ate. Okay, never mind. He doesn't know. 
I don't remember that. Hmm. We ate the biggie bag. Go back and watch that video. Uh, yeah, no, it was called something like the big bacon. They had a big bacon chicken. They had a big bacon. There was mm. a triple, a double, and then we had a bourbon one that wasn't that good. And he tells me I'm going senile. I, don't I remember that. It. Yeah. Um, but this is no way back. It's Wendy's level. That's my take on it. I couldn't remember if we ever ate. I think one time when we were on vacation, I tell this story all the time. We stopped and we got a burger. Mm -hmm. But um, I will say it kicks the crap out of all the Muya ones we got. Mm. I mean, honestly, like this is a decent. It's not a bad burger. No. I don't agree, though. Way it's back. Way back magical. This still tastes... Nope, I'm spitting on you. This still tastes like a... Uh, like a, a frozen patty. Like, they don't... It's not, like, seasoned like the smash patties we get at way back and stuff like that. This still tastes like a fast food burger. Mm. I will agree. I will agree with that. It's not a bad burger, though. Mm -hmm. But when you get in the nine dollar burger range, you hope to have like a legitimate yeah burger. It is slightly better than well, McDonald's. The guy in the car next to us getting out, so I'm sure he's gonna buy. Oh, no. Okay, so this one. Finn, that's enough. This one is the flamethrower one. So let's let's. I can smell the cheese on this one. You want this wrapper? You'll try to taste the sauce. No. Enough. Uh, that is enough. I don't care what that guy's doing. You got a lot of food here today, Ryan. You're killing me. Yeah. I don't want all of it. Well, you're going to have all of it because oh you goodness. ordered it all. Okay. Here it is. Uh, it's got like ham or something. It's or a tomato. It's supposed to have their flamethrower sauce. The flamethrower sauce you can see goosing. It's like nacho cheese out Did of a give can the cross? Almost. Yes. Okay. So this is a double patty. The only thing I will say about that A1 steak sauce one. That, it's that leaking. The uh, actual <laughs> onion rings were so crunchy, they were almost hard to eat. <laughs> they were very crunchy. Mm. What do you think of the flamethrower sauce? It tastes like I'm trying to figure out what a buffalo like. wing sauce. Well, yeah or no? No, yeah, yeah, it does. It tastes like mayo with wing sauce. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's what I taste. Yeah. Overall, it's not bad. It's not a bad burger either. How much was this one? Do you remember? Um, no, I'd look. I'll look after I eat it because it's on your phone. But I mean, the t tomato adds a juice to it. Uh, it does have a generous amount of sauce on it. Mm -hmm. The patties, though, I, I got to give them credit as far as the patties have a, a nice little cheese and they're still moist. Mm -hmm. They at least didn't massacre in, in like some of the Sonic ones we had. Or... The rotisserie bites. Yeah, it, it, this is far superior to rotisserie bites, but. <laughs> Again, you're getting up there though with an eight dollar burger. That's that to me is a you know you're you're getting in that range. Like I don't mind paying eight dollars for five guys or eight dollars for a way back because you're not eating a frozen processed patty. You know what I mean? Way back is really good. Mm -hmm. I want way back now. I'm not gonna lie. I looked actually to see if they, they they don't have anything new. They still have that jalapeno fiery one. Way back watches the videos. Maybe. So way back, wow. you you gotta bring back the tangerine shake. Uh, not the shake, the lemonade. The lemonade's gone. The shake's still there. Mm. I love that lemonade. Uh, I want the shake now, but I want the lemonade. That was the best, best thing on their menu, and all of it is best. All mm. their menu is best. But I don't think that's that was English, the best, but best. It is. It is definitely quality food. But overall. Uh, I can see why this drive through is always full. I mean, it's not... This is, as far as fast food burgers, 
I gotta put them almost almost a step above like the regular traditional. I mean, they're more money though. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you're gonna eat like quality of burger, I gotta. What do you think? Like, like you know, I think you know. We did like the Garlic King, but other mm -hmm. than that, what have we liked from Burger King lately? You know what I mean? Like actually, like like um, all McDonald's. Like we just had the the Mariah Carey the other day, <laughs> and that was like. Really? I drove all the way out there for that? Yeah. You know? Um, I mean, at least these burgers, you get more meat than bread instead of more bread than meat. You know? At least you get some sort of meat. Right. <laughs> McDonald's patties are so tiny. I mean, these are probably the same size, but they at least stack two on there. They're not, though. They seem bigger. Them, them other ones are just so small. I think it's because it's actual meat. I don't know. I'll say, I don't know how much I'm going to come to Dairy Queen for the food. I literally came here. I wasn't even hungry, but we did it just because, well, that one burger was new. We should have stuck with one. This other scorpion one, it just had such a, talked all about the fiery sauce. I got to be honest with you. I didn't taste any heat. There was a slight, my first bite. Like it just tiny, <laughs> tiny amount of heat. We're, we're talking like nacho cheese heat. You're not talking like, whoa, that's hot. Like they I did didn't put a lot of sauce on that. There's though. a lot of sauce, but it didn't have any kick. You know what I mean? Like, there was no heat to it. Like, at least the fiery one from uh, way back had actual jalapenos on it. I didn't even taste the jalapeno on ours. It just had the fiery sauce. Yeah. Yeah, put this one in there, too, please. Um, really? Way back was phenomenal. Go watch that video. But. Way back is phenomenal. I feel like every burger review, we just talk about way back. But that's their competition. Well, yeah. Because all of these fat food places to look charge, at like, 10 bucks. Honestly, to look at a Wayback store, like our Wayback store is one-tenth of the size of this Dairy Queen we're looking at. Probably one Dairy Queen. That's what I'm saying. It's it's, it's crazy. Like it's a tiny do. little shop. And even more so, this place all is of it is seating, but probably like 10 feet. Not even. Two feet? At the Wayback? Yeah, most of it is uh, seating. I've never been inside. Um, It's probably our car size. Is how they cook stuff. Can't be that small. Well, I'll, I'll take you inside one, one of the times. Because I normally get the food. Mm -hmm. Overall, got to be honest, though, they, 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 the blizzards at Dairy Queen are, are, yeah. are, are darn good. Okay, let me check the prices for all of them. They haven't done wrong with the, with the blizzards. I didn't mind either one of them burgers, though. I'm not going to no, lie. No, the burgers but, were both good. I was full. But they were actually good burgers. Okay. Candy cane blizzard. Well, both of the large blizzards are six twenty nine. If you use the app every once in a while, which seems like every time we go, they have a deal where it's buy one, get one any size for a buck. I thought usually it's for free, but this time was this one was for a dollar. Mm -hmm. But normally it's for free. Um, so it's really like seven bucks for both mm -hmm. in our case today. Um, the triple loaded A1 steakhouse burger, eight forty nine, and the flamethrower grill burger is seven forty nine, um, which is probably a about for the extra patty. Correct, basically. Yep. Yep. Um, they're both pretty good. Now overall, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm not complaining. Nope. I will say I do like this this candy cane chill because of the. Uh, yeah, it's on a timer. That's why. Uh, that's the one thing with 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 uh, all the new cars. Because yeah. if you forget to shut the light off, it luckily it goes off. You know what I mean? And it doesn't actually. Uh... New cars. Mm -hmm. I like the I like this candy cane chill. This is one of the new ones because it has the chocolate chunks in it, I and mean, it's got a generous amount of chocolate chunks. Like this... I'm eating this Heath one, and I'm liking it less. Well, I, I you've never had a Heath bar. It exactly yeah. is what it is. It's chocolate vanilla with heat bar chunks in it. So, you know, you have to like heat bar. If you don't like that, you're not going to like it. So, yeah. Well, overall, that's the review. There it is. We're losing daylight. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ryan's going to have to go to Scouts. So, there is our Dairy Queen. It's really going to be the, the main burger, which the A1 steak sauce burger in this, in this. But we threw in a couple extras because I figured while we were here and I couldn't remember how, what we've ever had from this place. Yeah, it's a bit of a drive. It is a bit of a drive for us. So, all right. We got it all. 
There's Dairy Queen. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video.